chased the, the man down who was pillaging and raping the area uh, and eventually they caught him up in West Witten where he was caught and I think he was trapped to see the church, St Bartholomew's Church. And this man was called Bartholomew and I don't think really anybody knew his name because he was caught and tried at St Bartholomew who was called Bartholomew. Each village had their own um, court in those days, shall we say. So the church had their own court, and I think they tried him and found him guilty and burned at the stake, and then this has been continued from, from there. Really, from every house, we usually come down, and there's certain houses where we, we always get a drink from, where we, we pull in and stop, you know, this way and that way. And we've always done that, that's traditional various houses where we stay and all the three pubs. The style I tell you used to be a pub, it isn't now, but it used to be, but he still brings a drink out and keeps up the tradition. Uh, and there's an odd one or two that's been an extra drink scene that never used to have before, so it makes it a bit more difficult and we get a bit more of a sway on and we can't get down to the bottom. Shout, lad, shout, hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Yeah, the drinks that's brought out is for the ones who carry bar for the yeah, too, yeah. No, he's only made of straw. There's only stuff like a scarecrow. There's only stuff with straw and then we've we've added lights in the last sort of thirty years we've, we've lit his eyes up. But that's only he didn't use that one before, obviously. We we'll only do it from a battery, but it just makes it a little bit more nice. He was a bit of a vagabond, so I suppose we try and keep him that way as much as we can. Yeah. Father carried the battle and helped build the battle for 50 years. And as a child, I remember going maybe four or five years old, going and helping build the battle. And then as people have left the village, like the, there was a couple of lads that used to shout the dog at him, people, as people have left the village, I got more involved in the being doing the dog now for about 23 years. So it was sort of through the family. Thank you. Cheers. All the very best. Cheers. Well, according to my brother, the man who was a very big instigator with it, George Smartwood, he used to live at West Britain, yeah? He reckoned to have records going back for about 300 years or so, or 400 years, and he lived on an houseboat, in an houseboat on the River Thames, but unfortunately he had a, a big fire there and burnt all the records that he had. So we don't really know whether that was true or not true, but I do know it's been going back from well in the 1800s. Because my mother and father were both born in the 1800s and they talk about their parents going to watch Bartle and their grandparents going to watch Bartle. So it's certainly been going from the early 1800s. Isn't it? There's a hell of a lot of newcomers coming into the village now and a lot of people that 
weren't born and bred here. I mean, I was born and bred in this village. I went to school in this village. I mean, there's no longer a school here now. But um, I just was brought up in the village until I was in my 20s. Uh, when I got married, I moved out. And now I've come back into the area again, yeah. I was born in the village, lived in the village for 30 years, and then I had to move away because of jobs and things like that. And now it's more incoming people buying the houses and things like that so the village now it's I would say it's a, men of them are incomers. The reason the singing isn't as important is that there's nobody to lead the singing. When I was a, a little lad and we used to go and follow Bartle, uh, there used to be one or two who carried it who were very good singers and they, they sang a lot of the old songs and everybody joined in with the choruses. Nowadays there's nobody to lead the singing, otherwise I think we would carry on the same. There was one man who used to sing, I know the song was the old policeman pray have pity, but I don't really know the words of it. It's very, very good actually. His son being a cripple and an orphan. Yeah, yeah, it's very really good. Occasionally we get somebody to come and play an accordion and he plays a few of the old songs, but a lot of the youngsters nowadays don't know the old songs, and so there's nobody that can lead the singing, like you say. When we were youngsters, there was always somebody who knew all the old songs and could lead the singing, and everybody joined in, like we did as youngsters, but we don't know the words really now. So I've done it 35 years, so I'm hoping, and my son-in-law does the chanting, the shouting, uh, he's done that for about 10 years, so I'm hoping now my uh, nephew, he's done, done it for three years, he's taking over from me slowly, so he, you know, hopefully he'll take over. The family's been involved for that many years, I still come back at Winter Feast to do what's to do with the Bartley and things like that, because as I say, I've been doing it, helping since I was about five years old. Yeah, we've. We feel privileged to be able to carry it and keep the tradition going. We certainly feel privileged, but how long it will carry on going, I don't know. But I don't intend packing it up till the same as my dad did, and the only time I packed it up was when he ended up in his grave. So. On Penniel's grave, he tore his rags, and hunts the stone, he blew his horn. Double back, stay on his road, and he broke his knee. Just kill back, he broke his neck. Toward them's end, he couldn't fend. Yes, Galen will make his end. Shout, Lord, shout. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip.